Welcome to the SCLD podcast, where we talk about all the things you can do and find at the library. Hello, and welcome to the SCLD podcast. I'm Andrea Brumbaugh, and this is Savannah Stewart, and we're back with another round of one-star book reviews. Yes. I'm excited. This is part five. Yeah, part five. Wow. But if you haven't seen us before doing these, um, basically we read, we find one-star book reviews of popular books, and then we try and guess each other's books just based on those funny one-star reviews. Yes. So... What genre do you have today? I have horror, horror, uh, which I've done before, but today is more monsters. Okay, so I so kind of more got specific. More, okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. And how about you? Mine is classics, and yeah, just classics. Just classics. Just classics. Great. There's a lot of lead? those. Sure. I mean, I if you've seen this before, I I'm not very good at guessing. But. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. I think you'll get these. Okay. I, <laughs> no I have pressure. confidence in you. Oh, no. Okay. Now there's expectations. Okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, first review of this one is uh, one out of five stars and a hatred that burns with a passion and fire of a thousand stars. Wow. Yeah. Um, another one says this. The book is so monotonous that it suffocates me. The characters are ridiculous and the narration is all over the place with loose ends. People have different opinions on this book. For some people, it portrays unconditional love. It was plain dumb for me. Um, okay. Yeah. Could be a lot of books still. It, it'll get more specific here. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Um, I found the expl- I found the explanation for the artwork on the cover of the book, which I found on the internet, to be much more interesting than the book. Okay. Okay. And then this one, you probably get it. Okay. Waste of, waste of space, rich loser, chases women, has champagne cocktails, dies. <sighs> Uh, classic chases women it's a rich loser chases women has champagne champagne cocktails and dies spoiler alert any guesses is it the great gatsby it is the great gatsby okay yep that's really sad that you're like rich loser and i'm like so many books (laughs) (laughs) so many books about rich losers that chase women i mean really yeah that's true that could Very true. be <laughs> a lot of biographies, probably, Yeah, too. True, true, true. All right. Great Gatsby. <laughs> have, you, have you read it? I did. Did you like it? I did. Well, okay. When I was younger, I read it, and I okay. liked it. And then I read the graphic novel not that long ago. Yeah. And I was like, mm. mm-hmm. And then I listened to the audiobook again, and I was like, yeah. yeah. No. I there are certain parts like certain twists at the end that I like, but sure. other than that, it's like <laughs> not great. Nah. I think I've only read like a um retelling of it. Oh, okay. And it it was okay. I did read a retelling of it as well. But yeah. Yeah. I haven't read like the original or anything. Yeah. Okay. All right, you can't see? No, I can't see. Don't okay. worry. All right. So monsters. Okay. Review one, which is what I wrote. So I guess I'm reading that out loud. I have okay. two for each. Okay. Did you watch the movie and think what this story needs is some romance? <laughs> Sorry, I can't read this. Okay. What this story needs is some romance, some marital infidelity, and the mafia? Then I have the book for you. Review two. They're going to need a bigger metaphor. His weak attempts to use the fishy nemesis as a judgment of God against a morally corrupt town makes this seems like a cut-rate Salem's lot. (laughs) One whose sins are so plebishly venal. Venal? I don't know what either of those words are. This person is like, has an English degree. Yeah. Which is great that I copy and paste it and I'm reading it. Uh, You wonder why he didn't just let them off with a couple Hail Marys and an act of contrition? Okay, that's a word. I don't know about the other ones. Cool, cool. I have an, e- I, I have an English degree. But they're going degree. to need a, a – yeah, sorry. I yeah. just so don't. So, Jaws, yeah, right. They're going to yeah. need a bigger metaphor. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize the the mafia was in that one. 
Yeah, the book is very, very different from that. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah. I haven't read the book. I've seen the movie. I don't think you need to read the book. Yeah, sounds like... Yeah, and a lot too. of people agree with me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's yeah. just more... Um, I, it's less about the shark and more about um, drama and stuff. Politics and stuff or like... No. The mafia? The mafia, apparently. Okay. Who knows? Maybe it's your next... Book club read. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No jaws? Okay. No, no. Okay. Um, how can a book that's almost entirely set in the ocean be this dry? Okay. What's the name of that? Is this the old man in the sea? No. Dang. No. Um, if he didn't try to overwhelm the reader with every piece of trivia he could find about this thing, it might have been slight- Moby Dick. Yes. Sorry, I should let you finish. That's what all right. Doing? It's like, all right. It's trivia and I need to do it right now. I'm going to get more points. Please yeah, totally. Continue. You got more points. Um, so basically he said if 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 he didn't try to overwhelm the reader with every piece of trivia he could find about whaling, it mm-hmm. might have been slightly better. He seems to be looking down upon the reader by using infinite references to obscure gods, goddesses, mythology, and tidbits from around the world. The conversations or soliloquies were completely unnatural. Would you calmly deliver a five-minute speech to yourself if your ship were sinking? I mean, I would aspire to be that calm, but <laughs> no. <laughs> and then crazy. another, <laughs> and then another person um, likened it to like a really bad date, and they're oh, just no. talking about whaling all the time, <laughs> and <laughs> you're trying to like leave, yeah. but they just keep telling you about whale, the yeah. history of whaling and, and whale bodies, and stuff oh like my that. god, yeah, amazing. Yeah. Apologies, viewers, for messing that up for you by yelling out things. It's okay. Maybe we can. Uh, I mean, this is episode me five. Yelling You'd... it out, getting be bleeped. Bleeped. Oh yeah, maybe. We'll see. Do as you wish, Finny. <laughs> <laughs> In our quest to inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and innovators, the library offers a wide range of programs and resources on science, technology, engineering, and math together referred to as STEM. For young explorers, our STEM programs ignite imagination and hands-on learning. Did you know you can design your own video game, code a robot, create a marble roller coaster, or try out exciting science experiments? Together, we make STEM fun. Your library also has STEM resources you can explore at home. You can check out books on great STEM topics and borrow cool stuff like telescopes and exploration kits from our library of things. Unleash your creativity, foster innovation, and explore all that Spokane County Library District has to offer. We invite you to visit one of our libraries today. All right. Okay. An annoying scientist and an ugly tall man fight over who is more depressed. I would think uh, Frankenstein. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yes, but is that the best description? Yeah, yeah, that's great. And then this also says, um, "Ugh, I hate this book, and I've been forced by high school to read it twice and college to read it once. Yeah, yeah, it's well written. Yeah, yeah, it's a classic blah, blah. No, this is a book about the worst parent ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, hey, I copied this onto Frankenstein, but this is for Jaws, so let me just read it to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a mess today. Okay. A plotting narrative about a bunch of jerks who keep messing around when they should be more concerned with the shark that is terrorizing their small (laughs) New England resort town. That's funny. Uh, Yes, Frankenstein. Yeah. Yeah. This is our fifth episode of this. We're doing really well. Oh, because we're (laughs) we're guessing correctly? No, because we're (laughs) we're a mess. (laughs) Okay. Now, um, this one is one that I have not read, but I know kind of about. So, um, a shallow piece of propaganda of the sort that leads people to quote the book as fact and declare that socialism doesn't work, as if a fictional children's story could disprove a whole field of political philosophy. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, next one is super boring. The word comrade was said 90 times. I counted. Oh, my gosh. And this is one. <laughs> Very funny, but you probably get it. After this. Yeah. 
This is why pork is my least favorite meat out of beef, pork, and chicken. <laughs> this is Animal Farm? Yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, apparently that that book had a had a very big effect on that person and yeah. now they don't like pork. What a reason. Yeah. And then like you're at a dinner party and it's like, oh sorry, I don't eat pork. Animal farm. I hate animal farm. And people Damn. are like, what? <laughs> They're like, um, okay, these are free range pigs. <laughs> <laughs> these pigs don't practice socialism. <laughs> these are capitalist They pigs. don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a reason. Well, you know, to each their own. All right. <clears throat> After reading this, I realized that just because something is considered a classic doesn't mean it can't be garbage. For the most part, I didn't really know what was going on. The characters talk like Yoda from Star Wars sometimes. <laughs> yes, I'm aware the original publication was 1897 and it's written in Old English of sorts, but still. Yes, it had its moments. It even had a quote or two I put on my blog because I thought, hey, that's a really awesome oh, quote. Oh, wow. They put it but on their blog. But overall, it was garbage. Ladies and gentlemen of Goodreads, if you value your sanity, do not read this book. Okay. And this one says, too dark, too boring, too implausible. Skimmed the tiresome travelogue at the end. Definitely not my cup of tea. Okay. So I just want to remind you that this is a book about monsters, and this person says it's too implausible. I know. I have been. I was noticing that, too. Like, on the animal farm, they're like, this is just too, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Animals don't talk. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's fiction. Really? Um, okay, so it's a monster one. From the originals from 18... 97. I'm, I want to say Dracula. Okay. Dracula. Yeah. 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 I read that one. It is a lot of, it's a lot of stuff going on. I do remember reading it in college, like for the first time, mm -hmm. not because of a class, just because it was October and I was like, yeah. I'm going to read this. And I remember not being able to put it down and be like, I enjoyed that way more than I thought I would, but it's yeah. been forever. So. I feel like there, there are definitely parts that are like, oh, okay, this is yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, and then, um, but then other parts are just like, okay. Like, I get it. Like, get it. like those three guys who are trying to like save the one girl from turning into a vampire oh. or whatever. And they like keep coming back. It's like, just do it the one time. Let's talk about <laughs> it the one time. Yeah. It's a little bit repetitive, I think. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. But yeah. The latest issue of Engage is here. Inside, you'll find programs and resources for all ages and a wide variety of interests. Explore creative topics that spark the imagination. Find programs for health and wellness, financial education, gardening, and more. Hear from best-selling authors. Bring young children to weekly story times. See our STEM programs for kids. Discover digital resources that can help you pick up a new hobby and explore topics for personal and professional growth. Pick up your copy of Engage at any of our libraries or flip through the digital version today on our website at scld.org. Okay. My last one, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm so ready. I've got several of this one, okay. but... Um, and I'm not okay. going to yell it out in the middle. Okay. <laughs> uh, if there is a hell, this author is the devil's sidekick. And the first thing you're given after the stark realization that you're in hell on fire, and this is going to last forever, is this book. Um, this one could really go for any classic novel, um, are classics actually good or are they just unreadable and pretentious words randomly put together so that the author can hide that he's actually not saying anything? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like people I know. Okay. Okay. And then this, uh, I think this is the last one. Okay. Uh, author, the author is that perpetually needy man child of a writer. You know, the one who peers over your shoulder while you're trying to read and keeps pointing out the parts of his own writing that he finds particularly good and or moving. Yeah. See, do you see, see how I talked about how the rose is red. And then I talk about Hester's a is red too. Do you see what I'm trying to do here with the symbolism? <laughs> and it's like that all the way through the book. Uh, the Scarlet Letter. Yes. Yes. Which I think I've read once and I don't remember anything about it. So it was obviously 
great and made a big impact on me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did not have to read that one. I remember most people had to read that one in school. I did not have to read that one. In oh, school. I read that for pleasure. Oh, really? I, I've, I thought I'm about reading it. Work. <laughs> I thought about reading it, yeah. but yeah, I haven't. Just watch Easy A instead. That's right. Way better. Way better. <laughs> Love that movie. <laughs> okay. Here's my last one. I really wanted to like this book. Most zombie apocalypse stories take place in a very limited geographic area, like a mall or even The Walking Dead, where it's all within 50 kilometers of where the characters start from. So one that encompasses what happens to the whole world was a great idea. Unfortunately, the execution leaves something to be desired. And this says, this is one of those rare cases in which the film adaptation surpasses the book by miles. But then again, it's hard to stand a chance against Brad Pitt, isn't it? Mm, World War Z. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I haven't read that book, but I I have heard that it's like totally different than the movie. Like yeah. it's more of like a, like almost like a historical kind of. Yeah, like l- letters and stuff. Yeah, it's not. It's, I saw yeah, in yeah. The reviews. I have, I also haven't read it. Yeah. Um, not because I'm avoiding it. I just haven't read it. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do own it, but I haven't read it yet. But I like zombie stuff, and I Maybe like that it could movie. Be your October read, Maybe. something creepy. Yeah, or Jaws. <laughs> That's or the Jaws. one. Jaws is the one you thought that I should have as a book club book, which I don't I'm think sure my book have. club would really but be you'd happy have about that. So much to talk about. That's true. That's true. So much. I think that's one that my mom read when she was like eleven, and she was like. <laughs> but my parents were yeah I'm like i'm reading jaws <laughs> yeah so yeah awesome all right i'm sure all these books are at the library oh yeah Should totally definitely. yeah you can there, get them you here. can you can find them all in our catalog at scld.org and um they might be checked out especially the horror ones since it's mm-hmm. spooky time yeah but, uh yeah but yeah you can find all these in our catalog and thanks for watching we'll see you next time Thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed today's topic and want to be notified of upcoming episodes, please like and subscribe. To learn more about Spokane County Library District, our programs, resources, and services, you can go to scld.org.